These instructions show the steps necessary for setting the tool height offsets on a Haas VF2 CNC milling machine at Western Washington University. Before entering the lab, ensure that you have all safety equipment required, closed-toed shoes, long pants, and safety glasses. In order to complete this process properly, one will need the following equipment. A half-inch dowel pin, a height gauge, and a vice wrench. A CNC controller. First, locate the table underneath the tool holder. The tool must be lowered to a height of less than half an inch from the back of the vise. Be very careful to not crash the tool into the vise. This can crush bearings in the CNC and ruin the machine. Ensure no parts of your body are near the tool while it's being lowered to avoid injury. Step 3. Raise the tool to exactly half an inch. Select thousandth increment button. Slowly raise the tool up by rotating the handle wheel clockwise. One handle wheel click at a time, slowly raise the tool until the dowel pin can freely slide underneath. If the tool raises too high, remove the dowel pin and repeat step 2, setting the tool offset. Once step 3 has been completed, press the offsets button on the CNC controller to bring up the height offsets page. Ensure the corresponding tool is selected on the controller and press the tool offset measure button. If you are setting more than one tool height, press the next tool button to switch to the next tool. Once all tools have been loaded, it's time to find the stock height of your part. First clear off any chips or debris from the back of the vise. Zero out the height gauge on a flat surface. Set your stock in the vise as it's going to be machined. Set the height gauge on the back of the vise and measure to the top surface of the stock. Note this number. First, press the offset button twice to get to the Axis Systems window. Ensure that the G54Z component is selected. Write in the stock height offset obtained in step 6 using the keypad. Press F1 to alter the Z component of the stock offset. Subtract the height of the dowel pin by typing negative 0.5 using the keypad and pressing right. When finished, ensure the workstation and CNC are cleaned properly. Pull the coolant lever towards you, shutting off the CNC cooling line. Press the coolant button to start the coolant. Use the hose on the back of the CNC controller to clear chips out. Do not use compressed air. After properly cleaning the CNC, it will be ready for the next operator to use. 